Oh. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so right now I'm going to uh, be feeding a round bail out. Um, and then after that I'm going to bring this uh, tractor into the garage and look at the quick disconnect because it keeps popping out. So see what's going on with that and maybe fix the uh, bucket control here or figure out what's going on with it because it's super sloppy. It's a cable system. Uh, so I want to see if we can order new cables or if we have to order the whole thing. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going down to our storage trailer and we're going to grab a bale and feed it out. So uh, let's get going. So yeah, this is where we keep all of our hay. Well, we keep all of our second cutting hay. Um, we always keep our hay under under cover. Um, obviously, unless they're rat bales, because they're technically always under cover. Uh, whoop! These are frozen in. Uh, yeah, because if not, the bales will just rot. Uh, at least the outside layer. We try and keep them as fresh as possible. So I'll take this. And roll it out. Get these pallets out of the way. I should be able to grab it from here. Well, that's all done. Now we'll take this and put it in the garage. But I will say one thing, it is nice having a tractor with a cab. 
I don't care what anyone says. When it's cold and you can get in the cab with nice heat to work, or even in the summer with air conditioning, it, it's nice. It's really, really nice. So, yeah, let's get this up here. We'll get it in the garage and take a look at the quick attach. I think we may have found it. Because you can, you can do this. Yeah, you can't do that with this one. Definitely. It's definitely that. Yeah. Oops, sorry. That right here. Right. So let's take this off. Then right we should, in there. Should be able to slide the whole thing apart. So yeah, the issue is with this. <clears throat> when you're using the bucket. That moves too. When you're using the bucket, this thing would just open up. <clears throat> when you're using the bucket, this would just open up and the bucket would fall off. So I think what it is, is this right here underneath the spring is either broke or disconnected or came apart. Not sure, but we're about to find out. No, it came off. No, bolt? it's this right here. There's a a pin in there. Oh. Uh, I wonder if you just drive it up. Yeah. That's the right size to go all the way through. Uh, maybe. I'm only gonna whack it a few times. Than it is. All right. We open. We're gonna yeah. have to somehow hold the bottom. So yeah, we think we found it. This is this right here is bent. So we'll get a. Uh, or what if we use a wrench, maybe? Oh, look at that. Maybe it needs to be adjusted. All right. Oh, yeah. That's a little, that can be straightened, but is that what's bent? That, that ain't, that doesn't seem like that would, unless it just needed to be adjusted. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely bent, but yeah, it probably needed to be adjusted. We don't break it. See if we can straighten it out a little. I don't think so. It's just moving the nut. Oh. We can just put a, mm. a long bolt. So I'm it. thinking with it with a with a sleeve on it. Yeah, it's hardened, so it just snaps. Darn it! All right, so temporarily we got this situation going on because we snapped that other piece. So <laughs> of course we did. We got a longer bolt, but we put a couple of nuts on here as spacers because this bolt was too long. Um, so we're going to put a little tack weld right in here so that these can't turn so that this will open. Um, and we'll see if that's going to work. It's temporary until we get a replacement piece. If they sell just that and you don't have to buy the whole thing, <laughs> which is typical of most manufacturers. But, like you gotta buy the whole tractor. Yeah. What?
perfect. Just so those don't rotate. Because they will. Yep. All right, let's get it back on. See if it's actually going to work. Well, my camera just messed up and didn't capture any of that. But what we did is uh, put this back on and threw another weld on there because that uh, first weld we put on there broke or we didn't get all the way down because we couldn't really see it with that old helmet we have. So put, put some more weld on that. Now it holds and actually stays up in position now and goes back down. And it's only temporary for now until we can get a replacement part. If we can get one. This, this is the kind of crap that... Oh yeah. See if it works. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Well, I don't know how perfect. <laughs> Try to keep these on. All right, well, that'll do it for this video. Uh, next time we work on this, I want to address this because it is super sloppy and float gets locked into position and won't come out. So that's another thing we got to address, but not tonight. That's for a different day. So uh, we'll, we'll leave it there and we'll catch you on the next one.